In this video, I'm gonna show you how embedding videos on your website can get you increased search visibility so you can start getting more attention today. And in a little bit, I'm actually gonna show you how to do this without making any videos yourself. I'm Wes McDowell, web strategist for The Deep End, and this is the channel where I show you how to use your website and what's working now in digital marketing to supercharge your business growth. Video has so many benefits for you as a business. You know, first of all, it lets you make a more personal connection with your would-be customers, which is gonna make you stand apart from your competition who likely aren't making engaging videos if they're making any at all. But there's another benefit to making videos for your business, and it has everything to do with getting found in the first place. Yeah, creating videos and embedding them on your website can help you get found in search engines, particularly Google, and here's why. If you didn't already know this, Google actually owns YouTube. So not only does Google like cross-promoting its platforms and serving up video content in search results, but when you properly optimize your page, and then your video with the keywords you wanna rank for, then embed that optimized video onto that optimized page, all of that optimization works together to be even stronger than the sum of its parts. So according to Forrester Research, pages with video on them are 53 times more likely to be on this page one of Google. Not only that, but people tend to stay on a page with a video on it about twice as long as on a page without it and time on page is a really strong indicator to Google what pages should actually be served up on top. And including video on your pages will generally triple the amount of websites that link back to your site. And that's really important because backlinks from other websites are still one of the most major ranking factors that Google looks at when determining who ranks where. So now that you know why embedding videos on your website is gonna help you out with SEO, let's take a look at the steps involved in getting it all set up. All right, step one is pick the pages of your website that you want to rank in search. Now this might just be your homepage or it might be a series of landing pages if you provide different services. Could even be some of your best performing blog posts. You probably already know the general keyword phrases you wanna rank for. You know, for instance, wedding planner in Atlanta. But if you don't, step two is to define the keywords for every page. Now, ideally you want a keyword phrase that people are actually looking for, you know, is getting enough search volume, and at the same time, isn't super competitive, um, unless you've been around long enough and your SEO is good enough that you can compete with that phrase. Step three is to simply produce the video. Now, the good news is here, the video can be just about any format. It could be an overview of your business, it could be how you help your clients, it could be FAQs, testimonials, product demos, or even something educational. Whatever video you choose to create, you then need to optimize your video and the page it's gonna be embedded on for your keywords. This involves using the keyword phrase in the title of the page, as well as a few instances in the body text of the page itself. You're also gonna to wanna to make sure that any images on your page are named using the keyword that you're going for, as well as you know, closely related keyword phrases. And you're also gonna to wanna to do the same thing on your image alt tags. And alt tags are just the description you give to the photos inside of WordPress. Next, you're gonna upload your new video to YouTube and make sure that you've uh, used your keyword phrase in the title of it, as preferably in the very front of the title. You know, anything, you want your title to basically start with the keyword phrase, unless it just sounds funny. And then you're also, you're also gonna want that in the description of the video and in the tags, along with you know close variations on the same phrase. So the main thing you're doing here between the video and the page is you're repeating that same keyword phrase in different key areas. And this is creating a really close alignment between all your content, which basically just lets Google know that you have a very relevant video and page on that topic. Then when you start layering in all those closely related phrases, both on the page and in the description and tags on your video, you're also telling Google that you have a really deep and comprehensive content on the subject. And step five, now you're just going to embed the video onto your page. So usually it's just a matter of copying the embed code that YouTube provides you and just pasting it in the right place on your WordPress site. All right, step six is now you're gonna to wanna to promote the video and the associated page that you've embedded it on. So if your business has social media profiles, you're of course gonna to wanna to share it everywhere there on your Facebook page, on your Twitter, Instagram possibly. You can also reach out to relevant blogs in your niche and ask them if they'd be interested in sharing your video. 
But keep in mind here, this tends to really only work if it's more of that educational or, you know, tutorial how-to kind of video. Doesn't work so well with just a pure branding video. Just make sure you share with them the link to your page, not just to the YouTube uh, video, because what you want them to do is share your page, not just your YouTube video. So at the beginning of this video, I did tease a way that you can actually get this done without making any videos yourself, or at least uh, not making too many of them. So what do you do if you just have one video and you wanna get a lot of mileage out of it? I've got a few hacks you can use here. Keep in mind, these probably aren't gonna work as well as if you had unique videos for every page, but it's still worth doing. You'll still get some SEO benefits out of it. But you can't just embed the same video on every page because it's not gonna be optimized for the right keyword phrases on every page, right? And what you also can't do is just re-upload the same video with different title and description. YouTube is kind of wise to that. They're not gonna let you do it. So what you can do though, is you can basically make really small tweaks to the video. You can make one version just like a second longer, one version a second shorter. You can change the background music. You can change up the order a little bit. Basically, if what you're uploading is a different file, then it counts as a unique video. Now, some people are saying that YouTube is kind of catching on to this as well, so I can't promise this tactic is going to work uh, for too much longer into the future, but for now, it still works just fine. So now, what do you do if you don't have any videos at all and you have no desire or interest in actually making one? Well, you can actually put other people's videos and embed them on your site. You do have to be careful though, you wanna make sure it's not a direct competitor who when people watch this video, they're gonna be compelled to contact them now. So ideally what you'd wanna do is you would just find videos that are already optimized for the keyword phrases you're trying to rank for, and that actually gives pretty good info in it. So you can embed it on your site, and you can either leave it as is, or you can leave your own commentary on it or give it some kind of a new spin so it kind of becomes original content for you. Now this isn't gonna to do too much for your business in terms of making it memorable because technically it's not your video and you're not in it, but you can definitely still get some SEO benefits out of doing it this way. Specifically, just having that relevancy between the, your keywords and the keywords uh, that the video is optimized for, as well as that increased time on page. And in case you're wondering or worried that this sounds kind of shady, it's really not, as long as you're not claiming credit for it on your own. Technically, any video that's posted to YouTube that has an embed code is free use to use this way. What you can't do is claim that it's yours or download it from YouTube and re-upload it on your own channel. And if you wanna know my step-by-step -step system to make sure your site is getting you new clients every single day, my free masterclass training is right down here, how to create and launch your own profitable client-generating website. All right, I'm Wes McDowell for The Deep End, and I'll see you in our next video.